Climate change dominated most global talks in the year 2021. All summits, meetings, bilaterals had climate action on their agenda, as it should be. This trend followed suit into the first major global summit of 2022 as well. Speaking at the World Economic Forum's Davos agenda, the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, has once again voiced concern over carbon emissions. Listen in. Now, a number of countries have pledged to make meaningful emissions reductions in the 2020s. But other countries face enormous structural obstacles. They have an energy mix that relies on heavy dependence on coal. And that stands in the way of progress for us all. So they need assistance. Let's not go into a blame and shame. Let's assist, help key emerging economies to accelerate the transition while talking specifically about India and China, the world's two fastest growing economies, also the major coal consumers, the United Nations chief said that coalitions are needed with these two nations to foster a transition to clean energy. We have had the, the US and China making an agreement that I hope will provide China with uh, uh, more adequate uh, uh, technologies in order to accelerate the transition from coal. India uh, doesn't like a coalition, but India has accepted several bilateral forms of support. And uh, uh, I've been in close contact with uh, the US, the UK and several other countries to make sure that there is a strong project to support India, namely in their investment of 450 gigawatts of solar energy. Climate change as we know it is the great equalizer. It affects everyone, rich or poor. No nation has been able to avoid its devastating impact. Speaking at the virtual summit, Guterres urged world leaders to cooperate and help the vulnerable nations in their fight against climate change. The last two years have demonstrated a simple but brutal truth. If we leave anyone behind, in the end, we leave everyone behind. And we cannot continue building walls between the haves and the haves not, or building walls that undermine a global market that needs to work in a united way. We need to come together across countries and across sectors to support those that need the most help. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.